PeteTools.com. Hey guys, Pete and Pete's Tools, how are we going today? Beautiful day here on my side of the world. Hey, if you haven't been to my channel before, guys, my day job is running dumpsters around the place, so I pick up people, other people's crap, and uh, nine times out of ten we find good stuff in it. So instead of talking about welding and that sort of thing today, I'm going to talk about what I found in the bin this morning. And it's pretty awesome, guys. Anyway, same as usual, like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And if you have any more info about the ship trunk that I'm leaning on here, guys, put it in the comments below, because you might be able to help me out a bit, because I'm a little bit stuck. Anyway, guys, let's have a look at this thing. Yeehaw! So first of all, guys, we'll have a look at the outside of this trunk. I reckon it's pretty awesome looking. I reckon it's about 1900s, but, you know, I could be wrong. And it also has surprises inside. It's quite interesting, really. So we have a look here, guys. You can even see the maker's name on it. And we even have a serial number down here, guys. But I haven't been able to track it online, so I don't really know what year it is. But from what I could see, I reckon it's about 1900s. It's a ship's trunk, I'm quite sure it is. See this, guys? This will make you laugh. Union Steamship Company of New Zealand. <laughs> We've got history in a box here, guys. <laughs> See guys, we've even got an original ticket on the bloody thing for when it was loaded on the ship. I think it was going to Melbourne by the look of that. So we have a look here guys, this was its last trip. 96 Thornley Road, East Melbourne. Hey, that's pretty cool. You reckon? I reckon that's awesome. Well, what I expected guys was it to be a normal trunk like you open it the other way, but you don't. This has actually got a wardrobe in it as well. <laughs> now, the upper class probably used something like this, guys, so they could go and put their suit and tie on and go down the, the stairs and have a wine in the first class lounge, but I would never see that. They wouldn't let a bugger like me in there. <laughs> right, open her up, Pete. Right, let's open it up and see what we've got. <laughs> Pretty cool, guys. Like home away from home. It's bloody heavy, I tell you that. <laughs> so here we go, guys. You can actually smell this is old. <laughs> we don't have smell of vision, but you can actually smell this is quite old. Anyway, look at that, we've got our men's or ladies wardrobe here. So what you do guys, from what I can gather, is you pull your little thing out here like so. Isn't that cute? And then you've got the original wooden coat hangers here. The big ones like this are pretty cool, eh? I don't know why this is so much bigger than the other ones. And then we have the ones like this. Pretty cool also, I think this is the original wood as well, it feels like quite light, like sort of bamboo-y sort of stuff. And hold on a minute guys, I think I can actually open this up. Let's have a look. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. So there you can actually pick your clothes from the top. See that guys, you can actually go up the top there and take that top bit off like I just did. It's pretty cool, eh? Pretty well made for something that's about 100 years old. And then what do we got over here, Pete? So on this side, guys, we've got little drawers. Pretty cool, eh? I reckon it's awesome. Look at that. That is so awesome. You can take your clothes anywhere and set up like, like you're living at home. Here we go. Another big drawer there. Hey, there's a newspaper here. We'll have a look see what year that is, eh? Don't get that jammed in there, Pete. Got another big drawer here. And the biggest drawer of all, guys, is down here, and that's got a, another little compartment in it, like so. And then a big, deep drawer. Like, oh, what's in the bottom of this one? <laughs> See that, guys? It's got some sort of... It's got some sort of material sort of thing there to grab it. I don't know what the hell that's for. If you know what that's for, put it in the comments below, guys. It's back in here, guys. Oh, and it's really cute, eh? <laughs> This thing is a lot older than I am. I didn't think anything was older than what I am. Alright guys, let's have a look at this paper. What year is this damn paper? 
Here we go, guys. November the 30th, 1963. So I'd say that's the last time that trunk went anywhere. So, yeah, so I imagine it's 30 or 40 years old before that. So well, it might be 1900s when it was made. Hey, this paper's also pretty cool, guys. Check out the uh, ladies' fashion. Hey, that's a long time ago, my friends. That's a long time ago. Oh, that was even before I was born. <laughs> oh, look, guys, we've got the prices of cars. Let's have a look. What do you pay for a car in 1963? What have we got, guys? We've got a 1948 Austin for £165. And what does it say about it? It says... Austin, 16 horsepower. Wow, 16 horsepower has run 1,500 miles since replacement reconditioned motor. Fitted at a cost of £125. Best holiday motoring ever offered. Deposit £85, balance £8 per month. Hey, <laughs> don't you love it? So that's about it for this video, guys. I thought you fellas might be interested in it. Just something different for you. And I'll let you know what I find in the dumpsters. I find all sorts of things if you've watched my previous videos. Some radio control cars to wash machines, to fridge freezers. I mean, this this fridge freezer behind me here, I don't know if you can see it, that's my beer fridge. Got that out of a dumpster. Uh, I basically get everything out of dumpsters. You know how it is. Why pay for it if you can get it for nothing or cheap? Anyway, guys, keep watching the video if you want to see other shit I find in the dumpsters. And the same as usual, if you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. You might have a bit more info about this trunk thing. And we'll see you next time, mate. Eh? Bye. Pete's Tools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.